On behalf of the men and women in the United States Air Force, welcome to the 15th Annual Air Force Marathon. I'm Gerald Don Hoffman, Commander of the Air Force Material Command, headquartered here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. No matter which race you're participating in in the next two days, I hope you have a positive experience and that you also get the opportunity to get out and see what Dayton has to offer. Looking forward to seeing you again next year. The Air Force Marathon is unique because it takes place on an active military installation. Access to the base is limited to just three base entry gates, so advanced planning is very important. Once inside the gates, there is plenty of free parking, but you must allow extra time to get through the base entry gates. We recommend arriving at the museum one and a half to two hours before your scheduled start time. So what's the best gate to use to get on base? Well, it all depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming in on I-675, use exit 15, the Wright Pat Air Force Base Area B Colonel Glenn Highway exit. As you exit, get into the left lane and you will go straight into the base through the Wright Pat Air Force Base Area B gate. If you're going north on Woodman Drive, you have two options. When you get to the intersection of Woodman and Airway, you can go straight and use the Woodman Road gate past the intersection approximately one quarter mile on the right. The second option is to turn right on Airway Road and go approximately one half mile to the Spinning Road gate, which will be on your left. If you're coming in from Beaver Creek or Fairborn area on Colonel Glenn Highway, Follow Colonel Glenn until it becomes Airway Road. Approximately one mile past Grange Hall Road, you will come to the intersection of Airway and Spinning Roads. The Spinning Road gate will be on your right. If you're traveling southbound toward the museum on Harshman Road, continue to Airway Road, turn left on Airway Road, and follow for approximately one half mile. Turn left into the Spinning Road gate. These three gates will be the only gates open for runners and spectators on Saturday morning. The museum gate on Springfield Street will be open to the public with no pass required after 8.30 a.m. There is also an alternative way to help runners get to the museum. Runners can ride a bus from the Wright State University Nutter Center to the museum free of charge starting at 4.30 a.m. The buses will leave from gate 6 every 10 minutes from 4.30 till 6.30 a.m. Plan on arriving at the Nutter Center one and a half to two hours before your race start time to catch your bus. The bus is for runners only, no spectators or family members, and you must wear your bib to ride. It is very important to note there is no return transportation. Runners should arrange for someone to pick them up at the finish line. Remember to plan in advance and arrive one and a half to two hours before your start time. If you still have questions about getting to the race, please stop at the information desk and ask one of our helpful volunteers. Best of luck to you in your event, and we'll see you at the start line. Push it.